welcome to Sprawl and Brawl. It is episode number 73. Episode number 73, we have moved to a Monday afternoons. It is November 6th. I am Wild Matt. Steiner's over there. Sorry, what? I had you muted. Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, well, hey. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. GSP's back, baby. Oh, what? GSP's back. No, I what? thought... Well, yeah. He, well, he was what? coming back. Was he? Yeah. Yeah. Was well, he, something something happened. Oh, something happened. Something what? happened. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that's shit. what you were insinuating. I, we, thought, we talked about this last week. He was coming back. Yeah, but then something happened. Something oh. amazing. Okay, well, before we talk about that, real quick, I'm just going to mention megascorcher.com. Go there. VODs and MP3s of the show. They're all there. But if you want to subscribe to our podcast feeds, you can do it at Apple Podcasts and Podcast Addict or wherever else you can find podcasts. Just look up Sprawl and Brawl. And then we're live on Mega Scorcher TV on our channels, YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer. We're all known as Mega Scorcher TV there. So go check that out. So, yeah, what? Do you want to just jump into UFC 217 then? Is that sure. just what we're going to talk about? Top to bottom or bottom to top? Well, you already talked about GSP, so GSP, you might as well talk yeah. about GSP then. God. <laughs> um, damn, son. So now he, he looked really yeah. good in the first round. Yeah. But that's about it. He did not look particularly good anywhere else except for the finish. Now, I, I'm not. I have a feeling that he intentionally slowed down so that he could conserve energy so that he could last the five rounds. I don't sure, think it sure. was that he was like as tired as Joe Rogan was kind of like going on about. Sure. Sure. Um, but dude, dude, he took a lot of elbows and he took some shit. Oh, that he, well, the, yeah. He when he definitely... in third round, when he took this being down, yeah, he got fucked up. Mm-hmm. Like he got, I think three cuts on his head or whatever, or like one on his nose and then two on his head. Uh, yeah. He got like, dude, taking him down there. Bisbing definitely was getting the better when he was on his back like that mm-hmm. and striking. So and what the fuck? Every other time he took him down, they got up right away. So yeah, for the most part, which was for the most part to be expected. Like a lot of people were saying that, um, mm-hmm. that this being can stand up from just about anything. Uh, so I wasn't too, too surprised about that, but he, he was able to take him down. He was able to tire him out a bit, which probably tired himself out a bit. Um, but the striking, like the way GSP was able to make up the distance with his punching, even like, and then he threw a cup, he threw one um, wheel well, the, kick. So that I, I missed ish, but in the first round, he threw this Superman uh, jab and then yeah. this crazy kick afterwards. So. Yeah, the wheel kick. Yeah. The wheel kick barely missed him. Kick. It grazed yeah. his forehead. So it, it, it hit calf to the forehead, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But man, if, if, it, if, if his arms was... weren't there, it would have totally yeah. just nailed him in the head. Well, yeah. if he would have stepped no, he, one... he was too close. Yeah, he was... Yeah. G- GSP was a little too close. Because he for the uh, wheel kick, you need heel to head. If the heel mm-hmm. hit the head, mm-hmm. Bisping's, it would have been in the hospital for a week. Because Jesus Christ... It was so close. It was so close. Like, uh, yeah. Because uh, I'm sure he even felt the calf going across his head the way it did. It would have done something to him. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was left hand. Uh, left. I don't know if it was a hook or not because it was kind of like on a weird angle. Uh, I think uh, kind of how he ended up. Uh, what, the Superman punch? No, no, the oh. knock, the shot that knocked Bisping down. Oh, well, sure. Let's go to that then. Why not? Um, like it was kind of a uppercut hook thing. Um, mm-hmm. This is some of the elbows that Bisbing got on the yeah. ground there. And then this is the finish. The first punch I started yeah. it. And yeah, then, it, was, yeah. it was a hook. GSP, it was a hook. It, like the thing is, he obviously did have to have a fair bit left in his tank to blitz him like he did after he knocked him down. So, like, I don't think he was as tired as uh, DC and Rogan were going on about. I think he was oh, just yeah, trying no, to pace sure. himself. 
I don't think so. Um, so Rogan and so D, uh, I think Rogan's. I, I I've said this many times. I yeah, think he's out Rogan's definitely not. He's checked out I, a long time yeah, ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, even just some of the shit he's saying on other things is just really really well, stupid. I'll talk about <clears throat> something in the prelims and even uh, I think it was the prelims, but there's something really pissed me off, and I'll talk about it when I get to that fight, but. Okay. Uh, he, Rogan just said something really stupid, and yeah. Okay. Well, it was DC that said it first, and Rog- oh, or was it? Ro- hmm, now I'm now I'm forgetting. But anyway, oh, they work off each other very badly. <laughs> yes, yes. They, they both just kind of just agree with each other a say, lot. Yeah, they say shit that doesn't make any sense, and then yeah, they mm-hmm. they agree with each other. And uh, yeah, um, Michael yeah. Bisping did not tap out. He tap, passed no, I out. would not have expected. If it was an armbar, I think he would have tapped. But for a choke, oh well, I could, he said in the post not. fight that he did not have time to even think about tapping out. Yeah, it was just he was that just fast. Yeah. Yep, he was just gone. <laughs> Whoops. So yeah, there you go. That was the that fight. Uh, I thought it was interesting. Uh, they did some like ads for the next fights after the end mm. of this fight and rogan and all of them started talking for a little bit and gsp was still in the cage just hanging around just yeah. looking around cool like i thought that was awesome you don't see yeah people hanging around the cage after a fight for that long like, that was tl- like that was at least 10 minutes after the fight was already mm. like, not even the fight Over. after after every, yeah. like the post fight stuff like, was yeah. done yeah so that was awesome uh i really liked seeing that and that was my uh, most watched GIF out of all, or GIF. Yeah. Or I don't care how you say it. GIF, yeah. GIF, I don't care. So, uh, yeah, that was my most viewed GIF out of all of them, yeah. which I thought was interesting. Not not the fighting my, ones, yeah. just GSP being awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, just standing there in the cage. That's what, that was my most viewed thing. All right, so that was the main event of uh, UFC 217. Uh I have notes uh, for this thing here. I just got to go open them because I took them down in notepad for some reason. Mm. For some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Where are these? But uh, the co-main event was also pretty good. TJ Dillashaw and Cody Garbrandt. Yeah. Uh, the first round ended in a way where Cody Garbrandt might have won that fight if it kept going. Yeah. Yeah. If the bell didn't ring, it definitely would have been bad for TJ. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I, yeah, like I, I don't really know what else to say there. I, I think TJ did know how much time was left because he went to engage and then got cracked. And well, I think so he did that based off of the amount of time. So left. Cody posted it. that video of the surveillance camera uh, KO that he said he had right over yeah. TJ, and it was yeah. just a knockdown. And I felt that this was very similar. Mm. Uh, yeah, sure. His eyes rolled back uh, behind his head, but 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 his hands fucking touched the ground before his butt did. Yeah, he he was totally recovered before he even touched the ground. So that was just, that was another knockdown. I I, uh, I think even was it Rogan? Somebody said it was a knockout, and it was just like that's not a knockout, bro. <laughs> a knockout is when you're out. Mm. He was out for half a second, maybe. That's that's not a knockout. That's a yeah. knockdown. Uh, there's a lot of knockdowns tonight. It's a fucking awesome yeah, night. Yeah. Uh, this card, uh, going into it, I, I said like the prelims. I'm not that hyped about the prelims, but the the pay per view was awesome. But holy shit, no, this whole card, was everything was amazing. Yeah. No, li- everything was literally amazing, uh, except for maybe the Thompson. What? Uh, Miles well, I was thinking more of the uh, God Beer and uh, Harris fight, but yeah, it, yeah. It, that's why I'm saying interesting <laughs> because I do think it ended up being called correctly because of mm-hmm. like, the ability for replay. But we can get to that when we actually get to that fight. Yeah. Uh, anyways, um, uh, TJ Dillashaw cracked Cody and in the he, second round. Yes, and, and he fell uh, over. Yeah, and City that to was finish it. him with punches. Hmm. Uh, um, I do have a replay for that, so let's go to it, I guess. Why not? So, oh, he actually kicked him first. That's right. And then he... Well, the kick him. was like 15 seconds, 10, 15 seconds earlier. Oh, which yeah. Which set, set up the mm-hmm. point of like, okay, Garbrandt's kind of wobbly, and then he mm-hmm. ate a fist, and then... Landed dropped. it right on the ear, though. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. 
And then, the yeah, there you go. That's the punch. That that punch, you know, it was similar to the TJ punch, too. You saw his eyes go back, but it yeah. was not immediately a knockout, you know. He had to go in for the kill after. Yeah. So this was technically a TKO. But awesome fight. I liked this fight. Yeah, no, it definitely was a good fight. There was, a, like, again, as soon as the fight was over, the two of them were perfectly fine with one another. So I do feel that a lot of the shit talking and whatever was all kind of for trying to sell pay-per-view uh, no but i feel like they not just all of it but a Cause, lot cause, of it like i don't TJ, think tj got right up in his face after the uh the end like he was screaming right well, in his face garbrandt got right back up at the same time though, mm-hmm. too so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh and after the fight too uh one of the cornermen for tj started screaming at cody uh, i don't <laughs> yeah i don't know exactly what that, that was, dumb. was entirely that was dumb. it was weird um, should not have done that whoever that dude yeah, was I don't know what it was but he was just, he again, was again, just there, screaming ha ha you lost Ro- fucker Rogan said it was a quarter man it could have been a fan that jumped up on the side and just started it, yelling it could have, have been it I, could have been I have no fucking clue yes, what we it have, was what, we have no visual yeah uh, indication of who yes. it was or what was going on it was just yeah some dude started yelling at Gar- Garber and took offense as he should have some dude like I just got knocked out and you're yelling at me like a fucking dickhole if you go on fight pass you can watch the corners so mm. maybe maybe i should go back and look at it maybe um but yeah a uh, good fight like it was quite competitive it came back and forth as like, yeah, so the, the three the three co-main events the whole time i was like <gasps> yeah, well, freaking the, the first <laughs> one didn't last very long oh but uh, uh really quick too though the main event uh i was freaking out and it was like yeah. 1 30 a.m i was screaming yeah. I was like, yes! I was, oh my god, and I, I almost lost my voice. That's how much mm. I was screaming Saturday night, and uh, yeah, my neighbors probably did not like me. But whatever. <laughs> Who knows? My neighbors might have been watching this fight too. Yeah, I am in Ottawa. Mm. There must have been somebody else in this building somewhere watching yeah. GSP. There must have been at least one. All right. Uh, um, then the yeah. third co-main event, or the first, maybe, as some people yeah. did see it. Yeah. <laughs> Jo- J- Joanna Jan Jacek versus Rose Nama Yunus. Jesus Christ, this went totally not how I thought it was going to go. Uh, well, this is pretty close to what I thought it w- would have to be for Rose to win. Sure, sure, yes. Um, she knocked her down that, twice. Yeah. Twice in the uh, first I, round. I, I thought it would have to be like a first round stoppage for Rose to be able to win because after that, I, I just don't think she could have kept up with the volume. And she made it look really Joanna. easy too. Holy shit! Yeah, like she yeah dropped her twice, like it was nothing, and she, yeah, she just did the whole thug thing of just like boom, walked away like it was nothing. Oh yeah, so that's the thing. Like this fight, I was super nervous at first. I didn't know how to feel because I like both of them. Mm. But then yeah, when no, yeah. when when Rose got the first knockdown, I was like, oh, yes, it's happening, it's fucking happening. And I was like, okay, whew, whew, okay, calm down, calm down. And then it fucking happened, and I was like, that's yeah. fucking awesome. So. I'm a huge Rose fan, and I'm happy she won. And this opens up the division to way more shit than if Joanna won. Well, yes. Because um, if Joanna won, now, she probably would have went up, White right? was pretty open to the concept of that it will be an immediate rematch. Yeah, that makes um, sense. She's had the title be, for a while. Yeah, exactly. She had defended five times. This was going to be her sixth or whatever. So like, mm-hmm. it makes sense. Now, obviously, she has to go talk to Joanna and Rose and tie set something up or whatever so it, it's not absolute but he was definitely open to the concept because of just joanna was mm-hmm. who the fuck she is um so that makes sense to me so uh, yeah so having the, a rematch the but. thing about the ending is rose stopped punching and then big john called it no but rose uh, stopped big john punching. slapped big john slapped her on the side and he, he she was like okay yep Cool. I'm done. Uh, okay. Well, I guess. Yeah. No. Re- rewatch it. I, I, re-watch I, I'm rewatching it right now. But yeah. I thought I thought that he called it because she stopped punching. But I could be mm. wrong. But she. Uh, but Joanna tapped. He, he slaps her. He, yes, Joanna taps as yes, well. Yes. Yeah. So but, maybe I'm just wrong. And Big John saw everything. But I thought that yeah. he might have missed this. A big Big John did slap Rose on the side. It, it, it did get called a TKO, not a uh, tap yeah. out to some uh, yeah. uh, to to strikes. So. Mm-hmm. I I I I, re- I liked this fight, man. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, it, it was. 
what a way to set up the three main events. Yeah. And, and then, again, like all champions lost. And... Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. He did tap her. So he did, he, he might've seen the tap out. So that, that yeah, is. I'm not sure about if he saw the tap out. Cause he it might was not have, he might not have, but, was but he game. was, he was in view to see that tap out. So yeah. after, after a little bit, he might have seen it. But I, right, I think it right, was just, no, she, she's done. Yeah. So she's it, done. He, all... he just, yeah, he did it at the same time. She did <laughs> like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And then yeah, no, Big John was in. Okay, no, it's over. Just boom. Just no, it's over. Big John was in super awesome yep. position for that. Yep. So, there you go. Uh, man, that was, uh, yeah, um, three title fights changing hands in one night. That's in awesome. One night, yeah, that's insane. Yeah, that's never happened before, as far as I know. Not in the UFC, anyways, and not in yeah. any other places yeah. I can think of. I, I think the last what was the last two oh five or two oh four? What was the last UFC that in New was York? In New York. Yes, I thought two or th- four five. You're you're definitely right. It's one of those two. Uh that was three, but they did not all lose. Connor won. Well no, but think he won Yeah, I know he won the title. He won the title. title. But I think that was the only one. I think that was the only one that night. No, it was Okay, two of four was so it's two of five. I just typed in UFC NYC one. <laughs> yeah, okay, no, so Joanna won. Okay, yeah, so he's the only one that won. There yeah. was one that had a lot of weirdness to it. Uh oh yeah, well that's because of New York. Yeah. New York it was New York did an excellent job tonight of uh, yeah, yeah. everything. Oh well, yeah. Everything was well done. So uh, let's start at the beginning of the card now, I guess, because why not? Uh, let yeah. Me, let me get this card up real quick because I don't have notes for all the fights, only the fights that really I really needed it because some of the fights didn't last very long. So it's just like, okay, here's what happened. So uh, I didn't really watch the prelims live. I watched it yeah, after I the did. fact. Uh, so Ricardo Ramos defeated Eamon Zahabi without a crazy yeah. spinning That was Because ins- so, Zahabi was winning... Well, he, he, the first round was pretty close. The second mm-hmm. round, Zahabi mm-hmm. definitely won. And he was winning the third round. And then just he stepped in and Ramos just kind of just threw a really weird and just hit fucking on the butt. Like, holy. So live, crap. I was actually listening to the commentary, but not watching. Mm-hmm. And I, okay. uh, I heard them like calling it out. Like he was yeah. he was actually setting it up. So, uh, yeah, it's weird that Zahabi was just. Kind of yeah, like, really like he really just stepped just in a little too much. It. Yeah, like it looked like he was about to like try to like do a tie clinch or something. Like he stepped in and then just yeah, un- he didn't see it at all. Just didn't see it at all. Un- and he was on the ground for a long time. Yes, like he was just uncon. Like do that. Was oh, he was stiff, stiff. On, like yeah. his head was up after the hit, but it was only because he was stiff. Yeah, like it's not because he was still conscious. No. <laughs> Oh man, brutal knockout! Brutal knockout! Yeah. Uh, probably one of the best knockouts of all time. I, I um, gotta say, it's up there. One of the worst, like worst as in best. Yes, like just of just how. Wow, super amazing it was strike! One fucking strike that just fucking. And KO'd. the strike looked like, amazing. It's not yeah, like it yeah. was a regular punch that laid him out forever. You know, it was a fucking spinning back elbow. Yeah. Jesus well, yeah, Christ! Yeah, no, agreed. It, like, <laughs> I don't. Uh, like even yes, the spinning back fist there. is like you know the spinning back f- yeah. fist has a reach this you have to have the dude just be there you know yeah you, yeah jesus this is brutal it's brutal looking and then uh curtis blades defeated olizik olianik whatever the hell his name is the russian dude what's his name again yeah what's his, uh his nickname is uh, uh, like boa constrictor oh yes the boa constrictor boa yes. or boa constrictor something like that. boa constrictor um yeah, this was a really weird fucking fight. Thank God for instant replay, because Jesus mm-hmm. Christ, that was stupid. Mm-hmm. Um, Curtis so, Blades killed him the whole two yes. rounds. The whole two yes. rounds was just domination. Um, and then he <sighs> ear kicked them yeah, to a yeah, down opponent. It, ear yeah. kicked to a down opponent, which, like, I clearly saw watching it, but the referee was probably not in the perfect situation to have seen the whole thing so he stopped the fight because it was to the head area and 
Well, um, let's be fair. The ear is connected the, to the head. Yes. <laughs> um, so, but it yes, was, by it all was definitions, to- it, was, it like, was a head I don't even kick. know. It was like, it, okay, so imagine this. It was the toes, but it wasn't even, the nails didn't even make contact. No, it was like, it was no, that like, much of contact yeah. with the toes. Um, <laughs> no, with that all being said or whatever, so the referee stopped the fight because yeah. it was an illegal shot. No mm-hmm. quotes. It was just an illegal shot because it was a down opponent. Yeah. Um, then uh, the bow constrictor was talking to the doctor and he the, he said to the doctor, no, I can't continue. I'm too wobbly. Yeah. Yeah. Which makes sense because he was getting killed. Yeah. And, before thing, this, and then before this, thanks to instant <laughs> replay, the referee went out and watched the replay um, with the senior ref, which was mm-hmm. Mergulata. Um, so yeah. it, they're watching it and then like, so they, okay, they say, okay. So the toes hit the ear. You could read his lips as he's doing this. So there was no damage from that shot so it was just so it it, it's a win you could actually see them talking and lip reading or whatever yeah yeah no it was a good decision Um, by the yeah so they the referees called the right call of just that yeah there wasn't a legal shot but there was no damage done by the illegal shot so it was just a tk doctor stoppage because Mm -hmm. he just said to the doctor no i cannot continue so yeah he no he he was fucked up and he was fucked that was done yeah (laughs) Like I think the fight should have been like he was wobbling around doing all sorts of weird mm-hmm. shit. Oh, by the end that, of the first, so. the, like the end of the first round, he was not looking good. No, so um, blades, bl- bl- I guess you say it. Blades, 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 blades. blades. It might be um, bladeus is how you technically yeah. say, it, but 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 he pronounces it blades. Yeah, it's just cooler um, sounding. <laughs> so yeah, he won. Um, beat the living shit out of him as far as i'm concerned oh yeah and he killed him like, the first round replay, wasn't even close. if that was a dq or a no contest i would have been pretty pissed off because that mm-hmm. like literally did nothing mm-hmm. yeah. and if there was no replays yes. that probably would yeah. have been it uh it probably would have been a no contest not a dq but because uh, well, it was an illegal kick that it depends how the fucking ref wants to interpret no, no, yes it, it is exactly and that's a real problem because he can and interpret most, it in most however refs he wants will, to. Most refs will call it a no contest because, because it's, it's accidental. hard to judge. It's yeah, accidental. it's hard to judge intent. Mm-hmm. And um, so, yeah, Randy Brown and Mickey Gall, you want to go over uh, this one? No, this is your this, boy. This fight sucked. This fight <laughs> sucked. Why? Well, because Gall lost, or is it, it was just because it wasn't a great fight? Hmm. Uh, the second round was the only round I would call a good round, and is it is it that round where Mickey Gall got cut? Is that the round where he got uh, cut with elbows on the ground? Gall won the second round quite clearly. Okay, so maybe it was the third um, where he got cut with elbows. Then yeah, that I would say uh, that was probably the only real good round. The second round was it, okay. It was but... just really interesting that Brown was actually wanting to be on the ground with him. I think he was trying to prove a point. He had yeah. to have been trying to prove a point and because he would have. I guess he just... did absolutely annihilated him on the feet but he kept trying to take him down or kept taking him down or they like the control in this i think was like 420 for gall and like 8 7 or 830 or 840 or something like that for brown so you're talking like well that's what i was thinking too like especially was... especially in the third round i was just like why are you still laying on top of him you could just stand up and kill him right now yeah you could, yeah. You could do that right um now. <laughs> but yeah no i think he was trying to prove a point saying that like even this kid who's really good at jujitsu will not be able to submit me or whatever. Or will not. I, I, I had to have been trying to prove a point because it, it really didn't make any sense, technically speaking. Well, he won. Yeah. One of the judges gave it gave it twenty nine, twenty seven, even. Yeah, I, I don't fully understand that. Uh, the second round was kind of it wasn't that dominant by Gall either, so I don't know. Or well, Gall definitely won the second. Yeah, but I, again, so, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that he was super crazy winning. No, but you no. Know, but the thing is, this was goal. So that should have been like a thirty twenty six or whatever. If Brown won all three, so it would have been he gave a ten eight to Brown on one of those rounds. Oh, I see. I, I true, don't. True. I don't count. That. I, I have no fucking clue how the hell that's. That is weird. That is weird yeah. for sure. All right. It, it doesn't. Yeah. Like I don't see that at all. And then Ovin St. Prue and Corey Anderson. 
I th- this yeah. fight was pretty good. Ovin St. Prue probably lost the first two rounds. I would definitely say uh, so. Corey Anderson was a fucking workhorse. Well, especially really the good. second round, Ovin St. Prue was tired. Yeah. He was dead like tired. He, he could not figure out distance. And yeah, then in, oh, yeah, as and then soon the- as he tried to figure it out, freaking Anderson was just on him. Clinch, takedown, whatever against the fence. Like, was just a fucking workhorse is mm-hmm. really the only way to say it. And then in the third round, there there was finally some space. There was a few strikes thrown, and then Prue just fucking decapitated. Well, him. the the only thing that Prue was trying to land in the second and the third were head kicks. So I'm surprised no, that no, he actually he threw three head kicks in the whole fight. Oh, okay. Well, I'm pretty well. He he threw a lot of kicks in general, though. Yeah, no, no, I'm, yeah. He, he was throwing leg kicks and body kicks, but he only threw three head kicks in right, the fight. All right, I, I th- he missed one completely. He, uh, in the, uh, maybe in both of the two were in the first round. When the head he kick happened, I was just, I was just like, oh, like, like I, I felt like it was telegraphed. I was just like, oh, I felt like he was trying to get yeah. that this whole time. Yeah, no, it, <laughs> yeah, well, that's what he was. He even said that in his post fight is that he was looking for that because he knew it was open. Mm-hmm. Is just finding space and finding the right distance and throwing it at the right time. He got it. Is yeah, and Corey Anderson knocked the fuck out because he was coming. He was again. It was like the DC kick with he moved into it. He moved into it. I guess I could play it. I do have it. There mm-hmm. you go. Yeah, he didn't see it coming at all. Nope. Like because he, 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 he was got like killed. ducking. Ducking it right into it. Just same thing as DC mm-hmm. against Jones. Like it was just like, like, because I don't even think Owen St. Prude threw it that hard. It's that he was, he was moving into it. into it and it just cracked him like Jesus. Mm-hmm. Just boom, right into it. Yeah. Just it's pretty crazy and KO. But it was perfectly placed for, per- like, it was like, Foot hit, back ahead, shin hit, jaw, just and just okay. moving into it. So the next fight is where Joe Rogan and DC pissed me off. Mm-hmm. Pissed me off, but it was uh, it was at the end. Uh, Mark oh, Goodbeer. So okay, 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 I know what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> Mark Goodbeer defeated Walt Harris. Uh, it was a DQ. It was a legal head kick. So f- do so. Man, Harris kicks dudes in the balls. Very, yeah. o- very obvious. Like very, yeah. very, very obvious. Like he, yeah. anybody could have seen it. And so yeah, he kicked Godbeer in the balls, mm-hmm. and then the referee was yelling, "Stop! Stop! 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 Stop!" And then, <laughs> as the referee was yelling, "Stop! Stop! 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 Stop!" Harris throws a fucking head kick, which connected pretty cleanly just toes but it was a pretty clean like it hit Mm -hmm. um now you get kicked in the junk or need in the junk and then kicked in the face while you're backing away when you think that he's done because the ref is screaming you're you're, you're holding your junk (laughs) or like whatever left hand going like this like you got hit in the junk you're going to stop stop and the referee's yelling stop 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 and you still proceed with the kick and just like like if he was two inches closer, dude, he would have been like out cold. Mm-hmm. Because it landed with the toes, so yeah, a little bit more would have yeah. landed. Like with if the... he got a little bit more foot with the way he was backing off and whatever, like he was not ready for any strikes because he just literally got cracked in the nutsack. Like, mm-hmm. Oh, well, it was a straight up knee. Yep. Oh, and we'll talk about nutsacks and cups. Uh, Bisbing's cup mm, apparently broke cup in broke, that fight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, he, he, the string broke. Oh, the string. Not the okay. cup itself. Okay. The string broke because GSP was like, this being tried getting up, and GSP just like fucking clamped down. And I guess his finger got caught in the string of his pants and just popped out when he got up after effect. Oh, okay. Uh, well, yeah. But whatever. There's ways because they, they somehow just um, threw it back in there without taping it or retying it or anything. Yeah, Which was know. interesting, but sure. Um, yeah, so yeah, the thing yeah. that pissed me well, off, Harris got the thing that pissed DQ'd. me off is DC went. Oh, I don't yeah. know if that head kick should have ended the fight. I don't know if that. Should yeah, no, wait, no, 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 no. It wasn't. 
ended the fight. It's that, well, that head kick didn't fully connect, so Godbeer should have finished the fight. Oh, yeah, he should have finished the fight. He shouldn't have said, no, I can't continue. You know, he should have just said, hey, man, I'll keep going with this possible con- uh, concussion. Don't worry about it, bro. Well, yeah, like, <laughs> like what again, the fuck? You didn't get kneed in the nuts in the hey, face. Hey, so, hey, Cormier, you Cormier, 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 yeah. you're a fighter. Yeah. You should know better. You just yeah, got, no, you just, just got yeah. kicked in the head last fight, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you want to continue after that? And then Joe Rogan was like, yeah, yeah, I I agree with that. Like, fuck off. God yeah, damn no, it. That, How disrespectful yeah. is that to fucking God beer? Yeah, oh, fucking horribly disrespected. Like, that was my, like, that's my dude, problem with it. Like, like, the concept, though, like, it was completely illegal. And Yeah, and you want him to what, continue what f- after he got kicked in the head illegally? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, what the What's fuck? It not even, it, it, it's to the point that he got kicked in the nut or kneed in the nuts and then kicked in the face. Mm-hmm. Well, that made it, and, yeah, that made it worse. The knee, the knee to the nuts is the part. Like, he should have known to, like, oh, I need him in the nuts. Maybe yeah, I should. You, you could feel but, cup. But, you feel but then, fucking cup. But then he, he kept going after the ref even said stop yeah. like three times. Well, the ref <laughs> even, like, put, like, tried to spit, like, stop him. Like, mm-hmm. he grabbed his hand almost and was, like, trying to, like... Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Like, when the kick landed, and he again, was in his face. Through. He was in his face with his hand on his chest going, stop. And it was the <laughs> same ref as the previous um, instant replay. Yeah, yeah. Which he went back to instant replay just to confirm. Of like, no, dude, this, this is, like, that was straight in the cup. And I'm yelling. I'm in your line of sight. Mm-hmm. Like, no, dude, this is a fucking... And Godbeer said he didn't hear him, which, look, look. Everybody, no, anybody who Harris said he didn't. Hear oh, sorry, sorry. Harris said, yeah. So, look, anybody who's ever played sports, that's totally understandable. Sometimes yeah. you won't hear the whistle. Sometimes you won't hear any. Like that's totally understandable. Yeah. But this, like you, you totally like. No, dude, he was in your line of sight. <laughs> but it's the fact that he need him in the balls. Yeah, like, that too. <laughs> hey, uh, I didn't feel the cup. I d- I didn't feel the cup. No, you'd feel the cup. I don't know, too. Like, anybody who, who says that, anybody who claims that I hit him in the balls, I would back up and go, like, oh, okay. I wouldn't go, like, I wouldn't stay in their face. I would back up just in case they're fucking lying to me, you know? Just in, mm. in case they're like, oh, my balls. Uh, okay, okay. All right. Are you okay? Are you okay? Can we keep going? Okay, cool. <laughs> but yeah. it's, I wouldn't fucking kick him in the head. <laughs> it was just weird. It was just weird. Yeah. And then the main the main event of the Fox Sports One preliminary card was James Vick and Duffy. Well, I was kind of right about the TKO yeah, KO you thing. You did call a KO, <laughs> but not about who would do it. Yeah, I called Duffy wow. just just to be different and weird Vic about it. Is fucking huge for lightweight. Uh, well, he's skinny. He just has long limbs. No, but no, dude, the guy's thick as well, though. Like the I, guy, I like, guess. I he's guess six three. He fighting is six at lightweight. three. That's what I'm saying. That's he's like he's like a little bit like Stefan Struve. Like he's not. He's he's well, big. He's a lot but, more muscular base uh, than yeah, Struve is. But he, you know, he dude, is. He, but he's not. He, he's not. He, he's he is big. big for lightweight. He'd be a small welterweight, but he is big for lightweight. He, well, I okay. guess they wouldn't even technically be small for like because of his height, but he's shredded for sure. But he's not, yes. you know, it's not like mass muscle. You know, it's it's like shredded, like it's on yeah, him. But the you muscle is remember, like on like, him. You know, people that are five or six three can't really do mass muscle like that unless they're like really fucking juicing or something. Or I, I don't know what he's thick, doing. Like I don't um, know what he's doing anymore. Hmm. I don't know what he's doing anymore. I'm I'm assuming he was probably doing something at some point. Who? James Vick. Vick? Yeah. I I don't know if he's, he's super doing shredded. I, I Yeah, even no, think, he's shredded, but that's I would not... even I even think GSP was probably doing something at some point. Mm, I don't think so. Dude, GSP was fought like super shredded, man. Yeah, he, he was like six percent body fat. I I was at six percent body fat for two and a half, three years and I was probably pretty close to the same size as GSP. Oh yeah, GSP was pretty big too. Uh, yeah, like I was 180 ish, give or take, depending on how much I ate or whatever. Like everybody was like Bisping's so much bigger, but like when you looked at him in the cage, 
they looked pretty well the thing is gsp also added on like 15 pounds of muscle and like five pounds of fat no just just even just even in terms of height and you you just like well there was michael didn't look that i think it's a two inch height difference or three inch height difference because he's 511 to 61 or 62 might be 510 well, it was coming up. He's five eleven. Eh, whatever. He might have grown an inch with all this um, muscle. <laughs> and then, yeah, like it, it, GSP actually had the slightly longer reach. He had a one inch reach advantage, and he was younger. Yes. Yeah. Weirdly enough. Um. Yeah. Um. And again, that's like yes. Um, Bisbing's been fighting a long time. Um, in the UFC, he's the most winning UFC fighter or whatever right now, or of all time or whatever. But you do have to remember who he was fighting. He was a gatekeeper for five or six years. So he was fighting top tens, yes, but they're top tens, not the number one contender. And GSP literally cleared out the welterweight division Mm -hmm. of like ever like just anyone that kept winning you'd fight them and beat the fuck out of them pretty much up until yeah but do you think gsp would beat luke rockhold (laughs) i think that fight would be close rockhold (laughs) rockhold is definitely bigger so Mm -hmm. if it went into grappling i think rockhold would not just be able to get up you'd be able to actually reverse them quite likely um now whitaker is the like that? That is what the fight. That's what Dana White's going for. Is mm-hmm. Whitaker and GSP. Whitaker or GSP would be okay. I just think Whitaker yeah. would probably KO him. I do think so. I think he's he, the, I, again. Whitaker's takedown defense is fucking phenomenal. He's going to be st- well bigger again. Like again, I've, strong. Like I've always loved stronger Whitaker. Is a relative term because it does depend on within what because. GSP's core is what's fucked up. His core is idiotically strong. And that's why he's able to hold people down as well as he is, can or does because of his core strength. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting fight. It is a fight that I would like to on can GSP actually like keep this up. I've always loved and, Whitaker, and I've I've learned to yeah. never underestimate him now. So yeah. uh, like, I can't. I can't what he say did that to he Romero was insane. What he did to like w- within to the everybody, first man. two it's minutes like, of the fight, he made Sousa you know, look like a baby. AC. He popped his ACL in that fight against. Oh Romero, yeah, yeah. No, he looked. And he, he looked still a, fucking. He looked like, great against Romero. Held out like a boss and ended up winning. Like what the fuck? Romero should just keep kicking um, that leg. Yeah, and oh, if he did, he, it, the fight would have had to have been stopped because there's no way in hell Whitaker would have been. No, no, but every, every fight, man, like even the, like Souza fight, I thought Souza would do better. Yeah, no, well, he just fucking KO'd Souza like a mm-hmm. bitch. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, there's the one more fight here. Um, well, James Vick and Duffy, we didn't really talk about the ending. Oh, okay. Uh, um, it, it was right at the end of the second round. Yeah, Vic, I, yeah, just one shot knocked him out, wasn't it? Oh, well, one shot, no, and then he got a, a two hammer fists on the ground. He oh, threw okay. like ten hammer fists. Well, I just two, remember two Duffy. of them. Two of them clearly landed right at the bell, and that's why the yeah, ref sure. stopped it because they were they were like clear as day, and they they you heard him. They were like Duffy was unconscious or whatever. No, Duffy was unconscious. No, he he was covering up. No, okay. No, uh, but the two hammer fists that landed, like he wasn't unconscious, but he wasn't defending him. He was just okay. like getting hit. He was like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll end this now because. He got. He already got hit once before that. Yeah. So no good. Good stoppage. Uh, all the stoppages tonight. I, I can't disagree with any of them. All right. No. no. Uh, Johnny Hendricks and Paulo Costa. Uh, actually, I was surprised how the first round went. Hendricks did pretty okay. He landed yeah. some punches. No, he didn't look. He didn't look too bad. He, he looked he, really good. The thing is, he looked like a welterweight. Sure. Like re- in relative size, like freaking sure. Costa is a monster. Oh, Costa monster. is huge. What the fuck? And he's tall too. He's like huge six ass one. Brazilian motherfucker. Yeah, he's, he's six foot, huge. and that dude has got to be walking around at like two twenty. I didn't like, realize he was that big in his last huge. fight. Because even because no, uh, even Bombazi, like Bombazi, is pretty big. So yeah, like dude, he is massive. And yeah. just, it just Hendrick, I think that was the issue is that, like, if Hendricks, 
Well, the thing is, could have Hen like Hendrix is still has a lot of fat on him. So could he have made welterweight? And I think that's what he needs to do is he needs to eat well and fucking fight at welterweight. He didn't the, look too bad. Like uh, he, if didn't he was look up bad. against a welterweight. I, I always make fun of him. Something. I always make fun of him for looking old and fat. And this, I, yeah. he looked okay this fight. It's just well, he, he, he was has... facing a crazy Brazilian yeah. mofo that he had no chance against. Yeah, no. Yeah, he literally <laughs> had no fucking chance. Like it was. No. And then the second round, it was interesting. He got eye poked, and he was like, "I don't want to give him a break. Let's let's keep going. Let's yeah. keep going. Let's hurry up." Because oh, he was thinking with all that muscle, he would get <laughs> tired, but he mm -hmm. didn't. And that would have been maybe a good idea. He was striking. If he if he yeah no if he was wrestling, or had some wrestling within that, I think he would have been correct on that. But no, mm -hmm. dude, he freaking Costa can strike all fucking. If you're just striking with him, like you're, you're he's not going to get tired. Like he is such a clean straight. Crisp striker. No, he, he's not going to get. He, he can go five rounds, like just striking. If it was just a kickboxing match, he can go five rounds. If and he changed his last name this this fight. Yeah, yeah. He was Burnchina before. Uh, he was but, on Tough that season. Yeah, yeah, that one season of Tough Brazil that we all watched. Because yeah, because of uh, who um, was on it. But again, yeah, he had no ground game, and that was the issue within his Tough. Mm -hmm. But and you need yeah, that in Brazil, um, kind of. Yeah, well, Brazilian <laughs> and the thing he's been working on it. His takedown defense right now is pretty good, and he's saying he's even he's still working on it, and he's still this and that. His striking is fucking insane, and he is a fucking moose. Like, dude, the guy is huge, and he's shredded. Like, like you say, so this guy's on something. I I cannot say yes or no on that because I. Like, dude, if he is natural or natural, mm -hmm. what, what's the definition of natural? Like, he's got some crazy fucking genetics. The guy is just massive. He only eats plants and meat yeah. that he kills well, himself. Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. Well, that's my point exactly. What the fuck is natural? Because as soon as you take a supplement, you're no longer natural. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I'm saying. He goes yeah, out no, like yeah. wild like and he, he kills eats the shit. all organic food and kill. <laughs> and goes out to the pit and just mm -hmm. snaps a boar's neck. Mm -hmm. Like, I, yeah, I, I don't. But yeah, like the guy is fucking monstrous. So, like, I think that guy is an issue for anyone at 85. Like, he is. Like, I again, like Rockhold or something. Like, Rockhold's kickboxing is pretty good, and then Rockhold's jujitsu is really good. So, it, it would have to be something like that. Someone that can actually deal with him on the feet and then still be able to take him down. And I'm curious who Rockhold is going to fight next. Well, uh, he has to fight. Well, he has did that. No, 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 because he fought. Uh... What's his and name? That fight happened. Yeah. Because his last fight was David Branch. I right. don't think he's I had anything that... since then. Yeah, no. Well, Brand, since Branch then. was only like well. He... I thought it did. So that's even... why I was underwhelmed by his opponent and the yeah. performance. So I want to see him against somebody. Okay, I didn't watch that. I guess no, that was I in Pittsburgh. It hadn't happened yet? Okay. Yeah, that was in Pittsburgh during that uh, the boxing fight. Uh, the other one, uh, Triple G and Canelo. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, Rock Holden. Okay. Uh, the fight was okay. It's just I I want him I want him against somebody in the top ten. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like, fight. Branch, yeah, I was completely. Branch is fine. Branch is fine. It's just he—he he will. He's a gatekeeper of the top ten. He's mm. eleven, <laughs> or let's say top fifteen. I guess it is now in, in the UFC. So yeah, he's sixteen. He's right there. Keep him there. He keep him right there. Uh, Branch yeah. is okay. It's just I don't know. He's not that amazing. Yeah. And then uh, we already talked about Thompson and Masvidal being underwhelming. It was okay. Yeah. But Thompson was just staying on the outside and landing one yeah. shot, one shot, one was, shot, the one shot, shot was, one it, shot, it, one shot. And that was the whole fight. Yeah, the fight was exactly what I thought it was. I didn't think Masvidal was... Well, M Masvidal is too slow to do shit. Yeah. He, and he was so but confused I, I, about Thompson. He just, yeah. Thompson was just boop, 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 bam, boop, 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 bam. That was the whole fight. That's the whole fight. Yeah. Uh, and and Masvidal can definitely take a punch. Yeah. Like I that, that was pretty much exactly what I expected it to be. It's just I like, Masvidal's not that. Masvidal looked different to me. Just his face looked different. 
Mm. Like, yeah, I, I would maybe, agree with that. It, he looked weird. Uh, I, I don't really know how to describe it, but usually, I don't know. He, even when he, did you see him talking with uh, Bisping a few times this week? No. They, they were backstage arguing about nothing. And even then, I thought he looked weird. Like, I, mm. he still sounded no, I and talked yeah. like himself, but um, he just looked weird. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I agree. He does look different. Um, and he was he, sweating right off the bat. Like it was like two seconds into the fight, mm-hmm. and he was already wet. I was just what, what the weird. Like his hair was already wet. Was, yeah, was, I don't know. He did. He he looked different than than what he usually looks like. And uh, yeah, that was UFC two seventeen. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, it was a pretty damn good event. I would say that this might be my favorite event ever. Hmm. I could I can see how other cards would te- technically be better than this one, but I loved all of these fights. Uh, GSP winning, uh, how can you beat mm. that? Uh, you know, Con- Conor McGregor winning, I don't give a fuck. If anything, it's gonna be awesome when he loses. Yeah, <laughs> no, like it would be this or two or six. I would think would actually be uh, two or six is the Toronto card. Yeah, fuck like. As a as as a card going into it and then coming out of it, yeah, that's definitely my uh, my card. I was I was most underwhelmed by the card looking at it on paper, and then it coming out afterwards was super amazing. Yeah. I always thought two hundred seven would be good, but holy shit, it was amazing at the end of the day. Two hundred six was just like, oh man, it's a one fight card. I'm only excited about Max Holloway and Pettis. That's it. Pettis, yeah. And then, well, holy shit, excited. everything was amazing. Cerrone and Brown was really good. Like, mm-hmm. I was excited for that. And then, like, the Swanson. So, uh, Duo like, destroyed was... last. Like, he got destroyed those three yeah. rounds. <laughs> but the, he was still there somehow. Yeah. I don't I, get I, how I don't he did it. fucking understand it, but. Uh, those Koreans can take a punch. Yep. Yeah. And I guess that is something that's that's the only thing koreans can do they can take a punch they're not very good they're not very good technically but holy shit they can get korean zombies oh korean zombies the the best one he's the best one yeah he's like like, he's the best example his ground game's pretty good like he can submit motherfuckers pretty nice uh what's uh what's and then he can take a punch to get there i'm trying to think of uh the the other like maestro's okay uh the other dun young kim Mm. I think that's his name, right? Maestro. I forget. Anyways, the Korean Superboy. He uses the Superman song. None of them uses K-pop, and it pisses me off. <laughs> fucking because they don't Cor- like people in Korea. Don't give a shit <laughs> K-pop. Well, just okay. They'll play K-pop. K. Just play K something else. Korean mm. rock. Korean rap. I don't give a shit. Play Korean something. God damn it, you're Korean, Korean fucker. Korean rap, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> G- GSP, uh, GSP's theme song, wasn't it French? I want to say it was French. I honestly don't know. I think it was. it was fucking French. Uh, I'm going to look this up recall. right now. Entrance song. I, I'm pretty sure he was using a French rap song. And good for fucking GSP if that's what he was using. Uh, I think, I think, oh yeah, it is French because it's, it's written for him. Hmm. Yep, it is. Oh, no, it's not written for him, but it is French. It's called Afro Trap Part 7, uh, but the subtitle is La Puissance, which is pretty much the power. <laughs> uh, that's cool. I was into I was into the thought of his song being French, but man, the theme songs were the worst theme songs ever. Uh, Michael Bisbing used song two. By Blur. Mm. Yeah, I'm not, not. I can see how he uses it because he's English. And Blur, song two, is English, but whatever. Anyways. You know what I that song really is? Li- like? I don't really listen. Yeah, I know the song, but okay. I don't really listen to the theme songs <laughs> as they walk in. <laughs> what? That's typically when I get up and walk around and do something. I should probably do that, but I don't. All right. So that was UFC 217. Uh, there was Professional Fighters League on Thursday. Uh, there's only two fights that really had stuff that happened. Uh, it was, let's see. 
looking at my notes here. Uh, did I go too far or not far enough? Oh, not far enough. Okay. I see. There was also a Bellator on Friday last week. But it was, okay, Timur Valiev tapped out Jose Naldo Silva with a rear naked choke after a punch. I got was it, the video here. Is it the Bellator I'm thinking? What, Friday? Uh, yeah, I, I remember a um, spinning back fist. Was that in Bellator or was that? A spinning back fist. I don't remember yeah. any spinning back or fist. Spinning back fist knockout. Like the dude was just un. Oh, well, I'll show you. I'll show you a highlight reel knockout in a second from Bellator. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'll show you one coming up. The, the knee? Yes, the knee was insane. Yeah. The knee was straight up crazy. Anyways. Yeah, I watched highlights. So that's that's really and... that's really all that happened in Professional Fighters League last week on Thursday. It's a weird event to have, to be honest. It was like a a charity event too. It was, I don't know. Okay, so oh yeah, I guess I guess <laughs> okay. So let's talk about Bellator, I I suppose. Uh let me get the actual card first so I I know what I'm all talking about cuz I also watched some of the prelims, not all of them, but I did watch some of it. Uh, 186. Okay. So in the prelims, I guess the two things that happened that we should point out is Taiwan Claxton fucking threw this flying knee that just fucking... He, he like, jumped up, like, halfway across the cage to fucking do this knee. It was insane. The, the the distance uh, that he covered with the knee was just mm. crazy. Like, uh, oh my god, I don't know how he did it, but uh, kudos to him. Watch out for his, that knee. Don't don't let him do that next fight. Whoever whoever is fighting him next time, watch out. Don't don't let him run up on you because he's he's gonna try to do that again. Yeah, <laughs> it was fucking insane. Uh, and then I guess that's about it. I think that I have from the prelims that I want to point out. Did you watch Bellator? No. Okay. I, I saw some highlights of, I guess, the main card or something. Uh, the main card was pretty good, I I thought, anyways. Uh, it started off with uh, Saad Awad versus Zach Freeman. And Zach Freeman is the dude that beat the wrestler that they were super excited about that I'm, I always mm. blank on his name because whatever. He's uh, one and one right now. He, he's a no-name so hey, there you go. Sadawad is more of a name than that dude. Anyways, he got TKO'd very easily in the first round, one minute in. He got punched in the neck like t- two times, <laughs> and he was out. Uh, the second yeah. punch, I, when I watched it live, I didn't even see it land. So I just was mm. just like, oh, he he just he just face planted, and that was it. I guess his equilibrium was really off. But no, no, he got punched, and that was it. Kind of underwhelming, but you know, at the end of the day, uh. The result was fun. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, there you go. <laughs> Bellator is just wrecking their fucking up and comers. Mm. Every fight. Just like, hey, let's put this dude against this dude. We think he can do well. Oops. Shit. He got destroyed. And then the next fight was Ed Ruth against Chris Dempsey. Uh, this was in uh, some university. Univer- uh, where is this? What university is this? It was Penn, California. Penn, 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 yeah, Penn State, State I think. Penn State University, was. yes. So Ed Ruth is a former Penn State University wrestler. So people were very excited about this dude, as they were with Phil Davis as well. Phil Davis got a huge ovation in the next fight, but uh, I'll get into that after we touch base with this one. Uh, he got a one-punch KO. Maybe this is the one that you were thinking of. Let's see. No, no, this is no, no spinning back fist. No. Just a straight-up... Punch to the fucking temple and dude fell on his knee after he got punched in the face and then he fell over and then that was it. Good fight. A short one. Two two minutes. Uh, sorry. It went 27 seconds in the second round. The first round, uh, not so great. It was a lot of feeling out and then this happened in the second round really early. All right. And then Phil Davis fought next. Uh, God damn it. That fight was terrible. Uh. Phil Davis sucks. You know? What else can I say? Phil Davis was just terrible. I hate him. And this fight, no different. He fought Leonardo Lady, Le- Lechi. Uh, he was a 
new dude coming up to Bellator. His uh, this was his first Bellator fight. He's been fighting in Brazil. He's been doing pretty well. He was ten and zero, and now he's ten and one because Phil Davis just wrestle fucked him for mostly the three rounds. You know, he he he, he punched him a few times. He mm. tr- he tried to kick him. He he did kick him a few times in the body and the legs, but it, uh, he's just so uh, just get rid of him. Just, just fucking get rid of Phil Davis. Nobody cares. Unless he fights at uh, uh, Penn State University all the time. Mm. Then, then fine, keep him. But do you really want to fucking do an event at Penn State University all the time? Like, how many people can that arena realistically fit, you know? You want to grow yeah, if you're I, Bellator. You don't want to yeah. get, get smaller. And then the coming event was the first uh, 125 women's flyweight title ever in yeah. pro no well they were MMA in, that airs Invicta. on national television yeah, i suppose not, yeah yeah Cause, yeah because invicta's on the internet that's yep. not real that doesn't exist <laughs> Can you, like so, um this fight was pretty no, crappy no tv providers air invicta For, no. uh they used to air on pay-per-view before they oh. went on wow. okay. Pass. Okay. yes okay. It was, I think it was like 20 bucks or something Yeah, for whatever event that they did. So yeah, uh, this fight was pretty shitty until the end. There was an arm bar. There you go. She started with the triangle choke, trying to get the triangle, and then she couldn't get it. And she was, oh, hey, there's an arm right here. Mm. And then she got the arm bar. <laughs> she should have just gone for the arm bar the whole time because she was squeezing for a little bit. And then if she fell over and she was like, oh, hey, the arm's in there. And then she just pulled on the arm for literally one second and then she tapped yeah. and it's just like well you could have done that the whole time <laughs> and then the main event was ryan bader versus linton vassell it was okay ryan bader kind of lay on top of him for the first round a little bit but when it was on the feet it was okay uh ryan bader just destroyed though like just de- destroyed if it would have went to the decision you might have given it 10 8 every round but it, mm-hmm. it only lasted almost two rounds two. Or almost four, or almost three. Sorry, almost three, and it, yeah. with four minutes left, pretty much. Oh uh, yeah, he TKO'd him. Do I have a video of this? Did, did I? Did I even bother? No, I didn't. It was just like <laughs> Brian Bader, <laughs> and I didn't save anything. So there you go. <laughs> All right, uh, that does it for about the results I want to talk about. I suppose. Oh well, no. uh, LFA twenty six during Bellator, a dude got KO'd and his heart stopped, and he literally died in the cage for about two minutes. Whoa! He was dead. Okay. They brought him back. Thank God. That would have been that would have been a uh-huh. bad story. Hey, uh, we aired this on national television. Uh, this dude died. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was the LFA main event? I don't even remember. Don't even remember. I guess it wasn't that. Me- oh, that's the thing. Bellator kind of went uh, a little bit longer than it usually does. Oh, it was Jeff Hughes versus Rick- Richard Odom. It was two fat asses that I was just like, oh, we're going to get a knockout here. And it went five rounds. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a pretty bad fight. Yeah, and that's all I'm going to talk about with results. Uh, let's talk about the Ultimate Fighter last week. Did you watch it? I did. The fight lasted two seconds, and I knew it was going to last uh, two seconds. I think sec- it was technically like 14, but... Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> I knew it was going to last two seconds, though, because I, I looked at the time. It was like 10.51 yeah, when no, the yeah. fight started. I was noticing was like, that. Well, like, they, they haven't gone to the fight <laughs> all that much. Wait, wait, shouldn't the fight started yet? It's got to be a quick mm-hmm. match. So, and then, yeah. The most entertaining thing about this episode, I guess, except for the fight, because uh, we'll talk about that real quick. The mm-hmm. coaches challenge. They did a swim off. And I, hey, kudos to uh, Gaethje for somebody who never Finishing swims. It, yeah. And he, he did really well uh, on the first quarter. And then ever since the first quarter, he just was yeah. super behind and ne- never recovered. I mean, he still <laughs> finished, which he that, still finished. That, that is. Um, yeah. I guess there was also, I guess you don't have it here. Um, Crybaby, I can't remember her name. Oh, yeah, uh, quit yeah. Alvarez's team and went to, to the blue uh, team, and team. she didn't get the money for the win that Alvarez yeah. got for the coach challenge, which is hilarious. Um, but even that, or so, well, it was when Alvarez was like, okay, 
Maria is no longer with us. He said the wrong name. Oh, yeah. And, <laughs> and then she starts freaking out of like, no, my name's fucking Olivia. Or something stupid yeah. like that. Like, <laughs> my name's Crackhead. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whatever, yeah. man. So that was funny. I found that. Like, well, there, there's your reason why she wants to leave your team, dumbass. Of You don't even know her fucking name. So, yeah. But whatever. Um, and yeah, you know, the fight was really quick. She took her down, kind of slipped off the back, and ended up in a armbar. Yep, the armbar was just there. Yep. Uh, well, actually, wasn't she going for a, a rear naked at first? Um, well, she was on her back. I don't even think she had gotten to the point of fully. Oh, yeah, she was thinking getting about anything it, I guess. around. Yeah, I think she was trying to set it up, but she hadn't even got to that point. She got shook off, but then it was just able, and then she. Yeah, the arm kind of just arm. fell in there. And just, oh, yep. well, I guess I'll pull on I'll pull on this. There you go. Yeah, it, it did not look good for Christina Marks, which was the no. loser, and Emily no. Whitmire. So, uh, but in terms of the coaches, they're they're doing pretty even. Like, it's not about coaches this season, though. Mm, because no, um, I think it, it's three and five. Then that's pretty even. Yeah, it, it's fairly. Yeah, <laughs> um, you can only do one more number more even than that. Yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, so there there's two team kills. So each um, Alvarez's two of his girls are going to be fighting each other, and mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. which and then yeah, I guess uh, they're going to have to get somebody to replace Crackhead to train them. <laughs> they, they have maybe not, some maybe other not. girls. So yeah, I guess so. probably not. I guess so. Um, that was a good episode, though. I thought this second best episode of the season. Yeah, well, the coach's best. challenge typically does provide entertainment. More okay, so yeah. Than... In terms of just entertainment from a reality show, this is probably number one. But in terms of just the show overall, this is probably my second favorite. The fight was okay, and they had the coach's challenge. There you go. Uh, what else happened in MMA this week except for uh, UFC 217? Two se- two nothing. Nothing. I'm going to go check out some news, but I don't think anything happened. I guess King Mo and uh, Stefan Bonner faced off in a cage at Impact Wrestling. And, uh, well, King Mo cheats, of course, like he does in MMA. <clears throat> and there you go. So he won. <laughs> oh, Dan Lambert is the American top team owner that I was thinking about the other week that I couldn't name. Does that ring a bell okay. for you? Dan no. Lambert? No. All right. He's like a tall, uh, fat-ish blonde dude. Oh, and that's what I liked about the lead-up. Like, uh, Steve uh, uh, Bonner was like, Stephen Bonner was like, he he just wishes he was a fighter. He's just a fat ass, and he gets his fighters to do his dirty work for him. I was like, Stephen Bonner's pretty all right at doing this wrestling stuff. Uh, not only in the ring, but outside of it. That, and I think that's what a lot of people lack, is the outside of the ring shit. Mm. It's got to be entertaining. Just, just talk the truth. And that's, like, when I see Stephen Bonner say shit like that, I'm just like, oh, hey. That's just Stefan Butler talking shit, you know? And it's not like, oh, he got fed lines to fucking say. No, that just that seems like Stefan Bonner to me. Uh I guess Ronda Rousey, the um uh, the rumors are getting stronger and stronger that she's gonna be in WWE. But I mean, that's not I don't think she right? could handle it. Uh, she'll have a limited schedule like uh, Brock Lesnar. She's not going to be there all the time. No, but I still don't like. The politics will ultimately get to her, and she will not stay there yeah, for long. That's what I. Yeah. <laughs> she will not fucking like dealing with the politics of wrestling. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like just the whole thing of, especially the way the crowd acts and throw, like if the second the shit does. Like, well, okay, I, the, don't, I don't think the crowd yeah. will. I don't think the crowd will get to her. Uh, yeah. Boo her, cheer her. I think she'll love it either way. I don't think that will really affect her wrestling wise. The the thing that I think will get to her is the second shit doesn't go her way backstage mm. or writing wise. I think that will piss her off. Yeah, and she has no control over that. No, uh, she'll have limited control because she's Ronda Rousey. But yeah. she, it, 
WWE doesn't work like how it used to. It's, it's like, hey, you're Hulk Hogan, holy fuck. Yeah. Let's no, well, it's the just title. they are such a large <laughs> company now, they can't. And they're public, just... too, so. Yeah. If, if they want to appease the shareholders with a champion, then that's how they yeah. do it sometimes. Well, it's just they have to make money, and they have to try things to make money, and if that means... Rousey has to strip naked or something like that, then maybe that's what she has I to do. She's already done I, that, though. Well, it's no fun anymore. Did she, she did play. Oh, anyway. you can see her. Well, no, but you can see her with uh, a, 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 a painted on bikini. Mm, Just okay. her nipples out there. Yeah, no, it's funny. The first time I saw her, I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was her. Because she was rolling around in the sand, being all like, I'm having fun. With this mm-hmm. painted on bikini. And then she turned over and I was oh, hey, that's Ronda Rousey. Cool. It was for Sports Illustrated, I believe. Mm. The Tasteful Nudity magazine now. They do nudity? <laughs> well, I would say painted on bikini is pretty much being naked. Sure, I don't you don't see the I color did, I did, I didn't of the wait. skin, but it's it's the skin. Oh, let's get over it. And, and, it's, and you see the nipples, like the nipples stick out. Come on, come on, and the vagina's right there. It's it's right it's right it's right there. It's just painted. Well, <laughs> a lot of the time with the vagina, they there's a yeah. They wear a they bottom. Put, they wear a yeah. bottom sometimes too. That just is the same color of the paint. Yeah, I've seen I've seen people do the paint thing at conventions. I'm just like, man, yes. you have a lot of balls doing this. Hats off to you. <laughs> but they also looked very good, so I'm not, you know, muscled up dude and muscled up lady. You know, not too ashamed of their bodies, I don't think. Mm. Or they're very ashamed of their bodies, and that's why they're super muscular. I'll go with that. I'll pretend mm. that that's the truth. And I'm better than them. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm better than those muscular people. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't have anything else. I mean, there's a lot of events, and I have some highlights, but uh, that uh, are any of them really worth watching over UFC 217? I'm going to go ahead and say no. Yeah. Well, you know what? Here, I'll watch this one. So this dude tried to spinning back fist, and he totally fucking missed, and at the same time, he got punched in the face. So he like twirled around like twice nice. while he got knocked out. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. <laughs> what was that from? Uh, Eurasia Fight Nights 80, uh, 78. 78. It's a Russian company, I believe, but they do uh-huh. shows in Asia. So that's why it's in, in Europe. So that's why it's Eurasia. That's another fake continent, Steiner. Mm. Eurasia. It's kind of like uh, Central America. Hey, we want to feel special, it's, which is weird because Russia's already pretty big and Asia's already pretty big and Europe's already pretty big. I don't know why you need to combine all of those things together, but anyways. So yeah, uh, you know what they're planning to do with Rousey, right? Not a clue. So you know how there was like the four horsewomen in the UFC? Like Shayna Baszler was one of them and Jessamyn Duke. And Not a clue. Other, that other girl. No. That was that Not season of Tough that they were on. No? Oh, Anyways. Maybe. Not and then really. you know how there's the four horse men with Ric Flair? Not really. All right, then. Well, Ric Flair had a stable, and it was called the Four Horsemen. Okay. And he was one of the four horsemen. Anyways, uh, Charlotte Flair, which is Ric Flair's daughter, mm-hmm. has the four horsewomen, which... Uh, it's a fake faction. They're not even together. I don't. Anyways, all this shit about Rousey just pisses me off because it's all. It, it shows uh, how fake wrestling is. It it shows how fucking fake it is. Because yeah. they're not actually a fucking team. Ooh. But now Rousey comes by. Hey, we're a team. We're wrestlers. Fuck, yeah. fuck these MMA four horse women. You never had the name to begin with, you fucking hoes. And Rousey's not a wrestler. Anyways, so hey. is is hose derogatory? Uh, damn it! I might have broken my streak. Mm. Oh well, it says a prostitute, and it says offensive a woman. I guess that was derogatory then. Damn it! 
Is she a prostitute? Can somebody can somebody check that? Is it's Charlotte Rousey Flair a, pro- Charlotte oh. Flair a prostitute? No, damn it! Damn, I'm sure yeah, they've no, insinuated that, it. That, on that was derogatory. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yep. No, I'm take it. I take that back. I broke my streak. I, I thought hose wasn't derogatory, but I, I guess it is if you use it in terms of calling a lady that and not a prostitute. Call all the prostitutes hoes all you want. That's fine. Can't can't call women that because it's the hoe train. Sure, that that that's fine. You see, those women they were paid to be in that hoe train. That's fine. You can call those ladies hoes. That's that's cool. That's what. Do, do, do you know that they straight up just went to like strip strip clubs and yeah yeah add local stuff. strip clubs and gun gone and, yeah. Yep, and they just got him. Here you go. Here's however much money you need to come and be at this wrestling show. <laughs> uh, must that must have been fun? That must have been fun for him because who, who is the Godfather's tag team partner? He he didn't have a tag team partner, but but he was he, in he was in um uh Nation of Domination. But he, I'm sure he was tag team champs at one point in time. Maybe in Nation of Domination, probably. Uh, but when he was Godfather, he was just the one. He was the one dude. He might have been. Oh, was he with D'Lo Brown? Is, that, is that who picture, you're thinking? Think. Is that who you're thinking of? That that might be who you're thinking of. Well, now we're talking about wrestling. <laughs> that's that's not this show. I'm I'm the only one that's supposed to like wrestling here. So, GSP says that UFC 217 was the best line of his career. Mm. Uh, Again, she said he was in tears celebrating Nama Yunus' title victory. Hey, I'll be honest. I also had tears when Rose won. I was just kind of kind of sad. But happy, sad. I saw somebody uh, that I was watching the event with. Uh, he said, oh, my God, he kissed her. I was just like, uh, yeah, that's that's his her fiance. They're, they're kind of like together. That, that's what you do when you're together. You kiss. <laughs> it was like, yeah, yeah. Whoa, wh- What? A female fighter has a husband? Weird. Or a fiance. Almost husband. Mm. I think that will do it, though. Talked a lot yeah. about some UFC. Uh, well, I guess we could talk about events that are happening this weekend. It's because there's... I think there's a Bellator Friday. And there's definitely a UFC this weekend. Praurier versus Pettis. Yeah. That event looks really good. For an event that's after UFC 217... This is the way to do it, man. F- put a free event with fucking Pettis on. A lot of old people event. on it, but yeah. Oh, I, I, shh, but it's old people. Oh, that Sanchez, cool. <laughs> Mark Hort, Lozon, and Guida. Oh no! Hey, I, I, a hundred percent agree with you, man. I hundred percent because there's a, uh, Joe Lozon. Like he's not old, but he's been around. Yeah. Well, no, Lozon. Well, fight. His fight age is yeah. Yeah, play Guida too. He's not super yeah. old, but he's been around. Yeah, like Lozon's thirty three, so he's certainly not. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Dotson is the main event of the Dave. prelims. Yeah, Angela Hill is on this card against Dina Ansarov. A Sage Northcut. Screw his ass. I guess I suppose uh-huh. I I want Canones to win, even though I'm not that familiar with that dude. Court McGee versus Sean Strickland is the main event of the UFC Fight Pass card. Wow. That's pretty all right. Jake Collier versus Marcel, uh, Marcel Fortuna. That's all right, too. Like, this event looks pretty good. All around, like, there's a few fights in the middle where you might have a lull, but, like, John Dotson being the main event there. Like, yeah. It, well, like, Dot- the Dotson fight is probably actually what I'm more most you have a lot. In. You have a lot of fights in the, like, spread out on this card mm. like you could you could easily put dots in coleman event and court mcgee on the third to last fight and then have the other ones bump them down 
Who cares about fucking Matt Brown Sanchez? <laughs> Pretty well, yeah. I, it's for eight time for sure. And and like Ar- Arlovsky, he's fine, but versus Albini, what? The, who? What? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Albini's ranked higher than he is. Oh, so. Albini's fine. I don't hate him. Uh, I like I like his style. He does really good, but uh, it's just it's weird. It's a weird time in the UFC. There's so many events. Mm. And then uh, let's check Bellator because I'm pretty sure there's also a Bellator this weekend, but I could be wrong. It might be next weekend. Uh, oh no! Hey, there is one. It's McKee AJ McKee versus Brian Moore. This is a nothing card. Throw it away. Throw it away to hell right now. Oh, this is in uh, Dublin, Ireland. I Ireland, blah, 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 blah. Dublin, Ireland. I see. It's being co-promoted by Bama. That's why there's no prelims because it's all uh, it's a Bama card is the prelim. And this was supposed to be Gallagher on the main event, but he got injured. That would have been a good fucking main event, though, to have. The one Irish dude in Bellator. Put him in there. All right. Anyways, I'm sure there's other events, but that's the two main events. Uh, that's the two good events to talk about. And we're done. We're done. Unless you want. No, no, we're done. We're not gonna I'm do- done. Yeah, we're done. See ya. <laughs> oh, I guess I guess I should say stuff before I leave. Megascursor.com. Go check that out. All the VODs and MP3s are there. Podcast Addict. Podcast or Apple Podcast. Go check that out. Search for our show, which is called Spot on Brawl, and you'll find it. And we're live on Mega Scorcher. We're live. Oh, sorry. We're live on Mega Scorcher TV, is our channel name on YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer. And we're live every Monday starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Start a little bit late this week, but. We'll be on track next week. It's our first week here on Monday, so give us a break. Give us a break, man. It was a packed weekend, so a lot of shit going on. Anyways, see you next Monday. Ah. Uh.